you know what? I am really starting to sound like the dudes on that show. I don't got no shoes on either. They don't never got on no shoes. Right before they go out there walking and trying to build boats, knowing good and well, you can't build no boat out of leaves. <laughs> I better chill. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. That's what they do too. If I just build a boat, I can go out there and get some fish. Uh, I got some leaves. I found a couple of Pepsi bottles washed up on the shore and uh, I'm going to use my pants and that's going to tie it all together. Man, you're going to drown half the day. <laughs> and you're going to catch hypothermia. You're going to catch hypothermia and drown and you're going to be hungry. And those big old minivan bears is coming to get you. <laughs> coming to get your ass tonight. <laughs> I guess you be that desperate you start thinking crazy stuff. Say if it just stopped raining, if it just stopped raining, the rain is relentless. It just beats down on the tent and it'll drive you mad if you let it, man. I'm feeling that right now. I'm feeling that show like you wouldn't believe. Because this rain sound, man, is not cute. Being by yourself, you start you start thinking crazy stuff. Good thing I got y'all. You see how easy it is for them to talk on camera? That's because when you by yourself and all you keep hearing is all these creepy noises, you kind of need to talk to somebody. Even if it's Jesus. <laughs> you need to talk to somebody. watching the show alone in the beginning everybody think they can stay out there for the 90 days right at the beginning of the show everybody is talking mad crap showing off their skills and special utensils and special gear but by day seven, mugs start crying for no reason. <laughs> Round about day seven, people start missing their kids, the ones that get on their nerves now. The ones they don't even know is really there. They be worried about, man, I don't even think she would mess around with me. Day number seven, they be, oh, little Bradley, I miss you so much. Oh. Oh, Jessica, oh, I love you so much. Oh, I just want to be with my family. After day seven, <laughs> everybody go to crying, don't they? Except on every show, it's always one or two crazy MFs. They don't never got no shoes on either. It don't matter how cold it is, rain, wet, hot, walking over sharp lava rock. They ain't never got no shoes on. <laughs> Them mugs be out of their rabbit ass mind. They don't, they're so crazy. The people got to come and get them. <laughs> because they so damn crazy. They don't even know they either starving to death. They don't know that this, you can't stop this uh, amputation of your wrist. Yeah, your little herbs and berries and pulling sea moss off the trees ain't going to stop that artery from leaking. You need to call the medics. Some of them be so damn crazy. They don't know when to call it quits. It don't be about the money. <laughs> it don't be about the money. <laughs> it be about that. You can mess around, lose your damn noodles. <laughs> you could spill your noodles out there. Right out the bowl out there. If you ain't careful. And you, you see that stuff be real. Them mugs be gone. And they said that one cat. He ain't never been right again. <laughs> they said that one dude. He went out there. And they said he kind of still been living in that world. Ever since he went back home. 
I can't remember what he did. He had a normal job and everything. They say he went back home. He had to go to the nut house because he lost his noodles. His noodles spilled right out the bowl. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, it's a difference when you, you let your noodles spill out on some laminate, on some laminate floor. You can mop that up. You can get that up and get it back in the bowl. No, 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 no. Your boy noodles spilled out on some Berber carpet. <laughs> His noodles spilled out on some, some shag. You hear me? Some shag. Ain't no getting them noodles up. You need to call Stanley Steamer and have them come <laughs> clean that rug. Them noodles is gone. My man, whole thought pattern got screwed up out there in the wilderness. I guess if you see so many gigantic animals the size of this tent and bigger that want to eat you, they really want to eat you, and they just walk past you while you washing up in the lake. Listen to me. That's like a minivan with a mouth. <laughs> like a minivan with a mouth on it just driving past you and it want to eat you that's how big a freaking grizzly bear is have you ever seen one in real life whether it was dead or stuffed it don't make no never mind have you ever seen one they're as big a black bear as big as a damn mini cooper and it has a mouth Oh, my God. So imagine this. You're seeing this minivan with a mouth on it drive right past you constantly. And it wants, it really desires to eat you. It's, it desires you. You understand? It just don't want. It has a longing. <laughs> it has a longing to taste you. Can you imagine what that got to do to the psyche? And every sound you hear, it's a minivan outside your tent with a mouth on it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. You kidding me? <laughs> Shit. My noodles would have spilt out on that shag carpet too. I'd have been gone. I'd have been whistling, damn, Opie Cunningham, what's his name, uh, Andy Griffith show for the rest of my life. <laughs> they would be like, he just sits in the corner and whistles Andy Griffith. Just leave him alone. He'll do fine. <laughs> I'd be gone watching a bunch of big giant grizzly bears walk around my tent at night and sniffing and scratching and shit. You must be foaming at the doggone mouth. I don't blame that man for spilling his noodles. I wouldn't be okay. I'm not even here trying to prove that I'm Rambo. Rambo. I'm telling you, I would not be okay with you know, that's like being in infested shark waters, swimming, and you got a skirt made of steaks around your waist. Get out of here. You got on what y'all girls call them, uh, skorts, them skorts back in the 90s. <laughs> you got on some skorts made of steaks. Shh, shh. You think I'm going to be okay? <laughs> nope. Nope. They say that dude fell off that, that cruise ship and they came back the next day. He was in the water for over 24 hours and they found him. Is there anyone alive out there? Wouldn't have found me. They wouldn't have found me because I'm telling you right now, I would have just I would have drank as much of that ocean as I could. <laughs> I'm not sticking around here waiting to see what's going to poke my, rip my leg off Jack. I'm 
I'm just gonna go for. I'm going down to see if I can see me a mermaid. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try to swim as far down to the bottom. I want to. I'm gonna try to go and swim down to the bottom of them them fish with that little light. <laughs> I'm going to try to find them fish with that little light on top of their head with them, them sharp teeth. You know you ain't going to make it down there. That's my whole point. Is there anyone alive up there? Don't sit out here wait for nobody to... And hope they're going to come back and get me. Come back. Come back. I'm going for the gusto. I'm about to go find me and see where sharks have babies at. I want to go down there and find out where where whales make love. Blue whales actually make love. They ain't never caught no whales making love. That's because they do it like five or ten miles below the ocean surface. I'm going down there. You'll never find me. Don't waste people's time or money. <laughs> Don't waste people's time or money trying to come back to get me. I'm gone. I'm already gone. I'm trying to find Nemo like a mug. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to find Nemo. I'm not going to sit around as soon as he got dark. I'll be like, well, that's it for me. <laughs> Close curtain. I'm gone. Let me go down here and see what they got good for dinner at the bottom of the ocean. Under the sea. <laughs> Under the sea, please. I'm not sticking around here bobbing out the top of the damn ocean water like a damn log. I'm out of here. <laughs> Please. Being by yourself, you start, you start thinking crazy stuff. Good thing I got y'all. You see how easy it is for them to talk on camera? That's because when you by yourself and all you keep hearing is all these creepy noises, you kind of need to talk to somebody. Even if it's Jesus. <laughs> you need to talk to somebody. I'll be gone.